tells us that jumping in lava is probably a bad idea, but more importantly, the absolute mess that is entropy. Literally, it tells you how much disorder there is in a system, indicating the number of possible states a system could be in. For example, get an ice cube and put it in the sun. The sun will obliterate the ice cube and turn it into water. Looking at the structure of ice and water, we can see that ice is more neatly organized than water, which just kind of goes all over the place. In total, the system went from low entropy to high entropy, meaning more disorder and more possible microstates. The whole universe is on an unstoppable path to higher entropy. It's also the reason why time seems to only go forwards. Practically, entropy tells us that some forms of energy are more useful for doing work than others. Burn some gasoline and your car will move, spitting out heat and gas. That heat and gas is pretty much gasoline, just in the form of higher entropy. And as you can imagine, this stuff won't really make your car move, and the gas won't spontaneously turn back into liquid gasoline. Meaning, the form of gasoline with lower entropy is more useful for doing work. Okay, but if you put some water in the freezer, will it not decrease in entropy? Yes. But the fridge is not an isolated system and will heat up the room more than it will cool down the water, increasing the total entropy. Want to see some magic?